Hey there, ACCA students. In this video, I'm going to help you get a pass on your APM exam. I'm going to take you through writing skills. I'll share with you some quick practical tips to help you get closer to a pass. We will look at the specimen exam. We will look at question D-Land Police. If you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to give it a like and subscribe if you'd like more videos like this. All right, let's get started. I'm in the APM specimen exam. I'm in question one, D-Land Police. And the first writing skill I'd like to talk about is giving your answer a structure. You do not want to craft a stream of consciousness essay where you're just writing any idea that's popping into your mind. You want to ensure that your answer is lined up with the model solution so the marking team can quickly give you the credit so you can get a pass. The way you do this is by finding the embedded tasks. Now, you're familiar with this, I hope. An idiosyncrasy of APM is that they do not tell you exactly what to do in this requirements exhibit. They just give you a rough idea and the number of marks, 10 marks. So we find the task by looking at the exhibits and the exhibits tend to line up with the requirements. We've got a requirement about critical success factors and KPIs. That's Exhibit 2. Value for money. That's Exhibit 3. League tables. Exhibit 4. So we can open up Exhibit 4. And right away we can find the ask from the CEO. And we look through here. The CEO wants an evaluation, including a recommendation of the use of an international police force performance league table and its link to targets for the D-Land police. He also needs you to explain how the use of league ta tables and targets might affect police behavior. So that is step one, finding the embedded task. And then you structure out your document before you start writing. And I've already started doing that. And as you can see here, I've got the embedded task right here. I will delete this when I'm all done writing for 10 marks. And because I'm evaluating, I've got pros, cons, recommendation, as asked for by the CEO, and then a discussion on the impact on police behavior. The next step to writing up a passing answer is to ensure that you write up the right number of ideas. And we do that by looking at the number of marks. We see 10 marks here. Te that's 10 technical marks. So I split that in half. Five. Five would be a bare minimum pass. Let's add a bit of buffer to that. So if we can come up with seven or eight ideas, we will have a comfortable pass on part three. The next writing skill to develop is structuring your answer further. That means building a skeleton. As I went through the exhibits a second time, I organized my thoughts and recorded the pros and the cons that I want to write about. So those will form my subheadings. Additional ideas will come to me as I start writing, but this is the starting place, a skeleton of my answer, headings and subheadings directly linked to the embedded task. I've crafted my first idea. Let me read it for you. The use of league tables will increase competition to be the best. Short, simple sentence in the active voice. Notice I didn't say competition will be increased by the use of league tables. That's the passive voice. I'm trying to keep it simple, active voice. However, that little sentence did not earn any credit. 
It is not justified or supported. That is a generic comment. A common cause of failure in APM, failing to justify your answers. So let me take it a step further with one more sentence. The DLAN police will know its ranking in the league table and then take actions to improve it. Yes, I'm stating the obvious, but I am justifying my answer. Now I'm taking it even a step further and I'm linking to the scenario. I'm giving a final sentence. This is particularly important for the DLAN police as improving policing is high on the agenda for the new government. Linked to the story, three short sentences, earning credit, earning marks. Here's my next idea, increased transparency that wasn't in my original plan but it came to me as i was writing and let me share with you what i wrote the league table will probably be published on the internet so accountability in the eyes of the public will increase simple sentences simple writing this will increase pressure on the government to push through the necessary reforms and improve policing in the land. Another well-developed idea, justified, linked to the scenario, credit is being earned. Here's my next idea. Police officers will be encouraged to work harder if the league table reflects their performance. They can be motivated to work towards their new targets if their position in the league table is good. Again, short, simple sentences answering the question that is asked. Nothing more, nothing less. APM team, I have finished writing up my answer. Please pause now. You can read what I wrote. You can see that I'm using the same approach Notice that the quantity of writing is less than what you see in the model answer. That's okay. I'm answering the question that is asked. I'm being concise. I'm linking to the story. I'm earning credit. I was looking for 10 marks. I ended up with six headings and a recommendation. So I'm confident I'm at six or seven technical marks. I'm justifying all my arguments. I'm giving a balanced assessment. I've come up with a recommendation. I'm answering the question that is asked. So I'm confident I'm confident I'm earning my A and E marks and my examples are relevant to the story. So if there are any business acumen marks, hopefully I'm picking those up too. Ladies and gentlemen, those are some quick tips on how to craft a passing answer. Please apply those to anything that you do in APM, and it should help you get closer to a pass. This is Steve signing out. Good luck on your upcoming APM exam.